Hey guys, time for more learning with a little tweet and this is Hill. So it's time for math. We've been learning about shapes and so far we've been talking about two dimensional shapes, which are the flat shapes. Today, we're going to start talking about three dimensional shapes. We also call them 3D shapes or solid shapes and they're just not flat. I think they're really fun to learn about. A little tweet especially likes learning about them because I get to give them a party hat. So here's one of our shapes we're gonna learn about. So here's what you need, guys. Actually, so, whoops, sorry. We're supposed to, you guys are supposed to fill this paper out, but I think we're just going to talk through it together instead. Um, so you can pull this paper out that says 3D shape attributes, and if you would like to write in all the answers, you may but I think we're just gonna go over it together, okay? Cause that's a little challenging to um, write and fill in, I think. And plus it's more fun to just explore the shapes and talk about them. So I think we're gonna do that instead. Um, at the very end, our little exit ticket we're gonna do is down here where it says day 28. So we've used this a couple times before, but we're just gonna do this little square right here that says day 28 and that's reviewing some 2D shape skills. Okay guys, and you need a pencil. Honestly, I think that's all you need. So you don't really need very much today for math. We're just going to explore some different shapes. Go ahead, pause the video, get anything you need. All right, so like I already said, we are learning about 3D shapes starting today. And another word for 3D shapes is solid shapes. They're just not flat, like 2D shapes. Let me show you some of the 3D shapes that we're going to be learning about. And we're gonna start with just a couple of those. So we have this one. We have this one. See how they're not flat? Like if you lay them down, they're not flat on the table. You can even stand them up. This one. Hmm. Oh wait, this is the same as this. It's just kind of a different size. This one, see that? I'm not gonna tell you all the names yet. This one, and this one. All right, so those are all 3D shapes. There are other kinds too, but those, and actually we might not even talk about all of these, but these are just some examples. The ones we're talking about today are cone, I believe. Yep, cone, and we'll talk about how you can tell that this is a cone, and cylinder. And I actually realized I have two cylinders. They're just different sizes, right? So we'll talk about why this is a cylinder. Let's get started learning about cones and cylinders. Hey everyone, Ivan here. I love to make things from shapes. Now, if you're going to make something with shapes, you need to know that there are two different kinds of shapes. There are flat shapes, like this circle. They're called 2D shapes. And there are shapes that aren't flat, like this can. Those are called 3D shapes. The great thing about 3D shapes is that there's space inside of them. So I can open up this can and put dirt inside to make it a flower pot. This 3D shape is called a cylinder. I need a few more cylinders for a special project I'm making. Good thing I built my shape creator. I've made a few adjustments and now it makes 3D shapes like this cylinder out of flat 2D shapes. Let me show you. First, the shape creator will find out what 2D shapes it needs to make a cylinder. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, I see! A cylinder is made of two circles that are the same size and a rectangle that is the right size for the circles. I need two circles and a rectangle. Remember, they all have to be the right size. Wow! We just made a cylinder! You know another 3D shape that can hold things? A cone! This cone can hold ice cream. Let's see what 2D 
these shapes go into making a cone? Oh, I see! To make a cone, we need a small circle and a big circle with a piece cut out of it. To make a cone, we need two circles. Here we go! Look! A cone! If only I had some ice cream! Okay, friends, hopefully that video was helpful for you. Little Tweet, what happened? You got some solid shapes on you. So, we learned about a cone and we learned about cylinders. Now, these shapes have some things that are the same and some things that are different. Let's just look at one cylinder for right now, okay? So, if I'm looking at these shapes, I notice that both of them have a circle on the bottom, right? They both have a circle on the bottom and they lay flat on that circle. What's different about the top? Let's take a look at the top. What do you notice that's different about the top? The cylinder has a circle at the top and the cone has a point at the top. So that's something that is different between a cylinder and a cone. Now, I want to see what happens if I try to roll these. Ready? Let's see if they can roll. Oh, there goes the cylinder. Yep, cylinder is a very good roller, isn't it? Now, let's see what happens if I lay the cone down and try to roll the cone. Ready? Hmm, hold on a second. What? That cone is just rolling in circles. That's kind of silly. So the cone can roll too, but the cone rolls in a different way, right? Um, sometimes when we're talking about solid shapes, we talk about the faces of the shape, like the flat parts. So the um, cylinder has two flat faces the two circles on the top and the bottom, and then it's round um, on the sides. And then the cone just has one flat face, which is the circle at the bottom. We also, when we're talking about solid shapes, like to talk about if they can stack, roll, and slide. Both of these shapes can roll, right? Can they stack? Oh yes, we can stack them, but what about this way? Do you think I could stack it that way? Oh no, it fell and rolled away. Now sliding is like if it can slide across the table without flipping over, without rolling. Let's see if we can slide the um, cylinder. We sure can, but if we do it this way, it'll roll, it won't slide, but we can slide it across like this. What about the cone? Let's see if it slides. Oh, well, it does slide. It just doesn't slide very well, but it does slide. See? Um, so these shapes, the cylinder and the cone, can roll, stack, and slide. Pretty cool. All right, everybody. So um, we're not going to fill out this paper. I think we did a great job of exploring what makes a cylinder a cylinder and what makes a cone a cone. Now, I would love for you to go on a cylinder hunt in your house and a cone hunt in your house. So let me show you an example real quick of a cylinder. I have some seltzer water here and it is shaped like a cylinder. Look, there's a circle on the bottom, circle on the top, and if I laid it on its side, which I'm not gonna do because it actually still has a little water in it, but if I laid it on its side, it would roll across the table. This is a cylinder. I wonder if you can find any cylinders in your house. Um, then I wanna see if you can find any cones. So cones, remember, are going to have a circle on the bottom and the point on the top, or they can be flipped upside down like that, like an ice cream cone. Oh, I just gave you a clue. Maybe you have ice cream cones in your house. If you do, you are a lucky, lucky kid. So you are going to go on a solid shape hunt, but we are specifically looking for cylinders and cones today. So here's what I'd like for you to do. 
I'm going to have you in a minute. I'm going to have you pause the video. Now, you guys, I'm totally not doing what it says here. We're, I mean, it does say to go on a shape hunt, but it says to do some other stuff, but this is what we're going to do. Um, I want you to pause the video when I tell you to, and then I'm going to give you three minutes to find as many cylinders as co and cones as you can in your house. Now, if you can bring them and put them in a pile, that's great. Some things you might not be able to carry, like they might be too big, but some things are small enough to just bring on over to your table. If you can make a little collection of cylinders and cones, that would be great, okay? Are you ready? Pause the video, ready, set, go. Okay, friends, what did you find? Did you find some cylinders and some cones? Um, I did a little hunt too. I had a little trouble finding cones in my house. It's definitely easier to find cylinders. Let me show you what I found. So I found this cup that's a cylinder because it has a circle on the bottom and the top. A roll of toilet paper is definitely a cylinder. Also, I found some candles. Candles are often shaped um, like cylinders, circle on the bottom, circle on the top. So that's my cylinder pile. Let's pile them all up. Now cones were a little harder for me. Um, so a cone has a circle on the bottom and a point on the top. So I found this part of a water bottle and it definitely has a circle on the bottom and goes up like it's going to have a point at the top. It just kind of cuts off before it gets to the point. Um, and then here's a crystal. It's a selenite crystal and it also has a circle on the bottom and then kind of gets more and more narrow like it's going to come to a point. But again, it doesn't quite get there. It doesn't quite come to a point. So it's not quite like a cone. I had a little trouble with cones in my house. I wonder if you found some good cones. So here's what I'd like for you to do. Um, why don't you go ahead and keep your cylinders together and your cones together and have someone in your family take a picture for you and that is a great thing for you to send to your teacher to show them that you found some cylinders and cones in your house. All right, everybody, you are um, done with this part of math. Let's just pause the video while you can get your picture taken and then there's one little tiny thing left to do. Okay, so go ahead and pause. All right, everybody, the very last thing that you're going to do for today is we're going to do this little exit ticket here. So it says day 28, color two shapes that you would use to make the gray shape. So look at all of these shapes and which two shapes could go together to make this shape right here. Um, I'm gonna let you do that on your own. Get yourself a crayon of some sort and you're just coloring in two shapes. Go ahead and pause the video and get that done. All right, guys, you are done with math for today and you're almost done for the whole entire week. We just have one more little lesson. Um, we're gonna do some fun science next, okay? So go on to your next little with, uh, learning with little tweet video. See you soon.